Oh, okay. all right, cool. Uh, just doing warm up games with uh, with uh, the Toast Rider, yeah. All right, I'm gonna start in a minute. Okay. Yeah. So not the most experience with this game, but I've played it a decent bit, as you know, so. Alright. I'm actually fix things up here so I have a few people like registered last minute. So I gotta no, see who's like... up first. <laughs> Why am I fourth seed? Uh oh, whatever. I think mostly because it's been a oh man since you joined a tournament, and I'm mostly looking at results, but like, eh. Yeah. Either way. Okay. Uh, need to make sure that Zara's uh, checked in, because I can't check him in, like, through Challenge. It's not letting me do that. All right. Keeps telling me something went wrong. Refresh the participants list. Hmm. Weird. Uh, Effie, this is a pretty big tourney. Yeah, no, I'm happy to see it. Lot. It's like, these last few ones have been like, you know, five, six people, so this is impressive. Yeah. Hoping I do better this time. <laughs> Uh, he said in fight Kate, uh he's going to the restroom for like two minutes. Uh, Zar, yeah, I guess he saw it. Uh, all right, saw that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I guess we can start at eight oh five then, because uh, I like if he's here, you know, I don't want to DQ him on technicality. Mm hmm. Because in the meantime, I can uh, go ahead and remind people that uh, I got a lot of events coming up. Obviously, the big one for me is Vortex Gallery, and I'm running a Dan Kuga bracket there, uh, North America only. Dates haven't been confirmed yet, but, you know, it's going to be early in September. Uh, yeah, I I'm, already, yeah, uh, you go ahead. I'm looking forward to it. Hell yeah. Biggest, uh, it's the biggest venue, I guess, that Dan Kuga's had. Yeah, it's nice to be alongside all these, like, games people have been playing for years even though dan kuga kind of developed the scene in like the past year yeah it's funny it's like it's an old game but it's technically a new game yeah i really uh hope the egret too many like official release uh leads to a console port i mean there's a possibility with like arcade archives i'm not expecting it but it's there yeah, uh, I just like to see the game finished. You know, there's not much left needed to do, so, you know, they could just, like, well, it wouldn't be that easy necessarily, but it wouldn't be, like, you know, it'd be, like, six months or something to finish it if you had a full team on it. Yeah, like, I think they've got, the, you know, people who have... I'm trying to remember the name of, like, the company they got on there that, like, is known for kind of bringing unreleased games like that. I'm sure someone's like posted it somewhere but i can't recall but uh yeah it's really interesting that this is like serviced on this uh weird mini console yeah well it, yes well it's just exciting to have any kind of official release for this it's not just a rom floating out there anymore All right, Zara's back. I just wanna I wanna make sure this goes through because 
me actually just like show the window on my stream that'll probably help people figure what I'm talking about. Uh, right, there we go. Now, if, if I like, there, you see, it's see, refresh the participants list or reload the page to continue, I do that. And it just kind of spends its time with that. Hmm. Oh. But yeah, as, as soon as that gets solved, uh, I think our first match will be uh, Detective Parks versus Shave Ice. So let me update that. Uh, so, not familiar with them. Do you know who they play? Uh, no idea. I think, like, Parks has just recently picked up the game. Shave Ice, I know, plays Kazuya. Hmm. Yeah, Kazuya is a very strong character, so... Alright, let me just... So Zara's checked in, let me just uh, get rid of that. Alright. Now, just to uh... clarify, uh, Losers Round 1 can play off-stream. Maybe Losers Round 2, we'll see where we're at at that point. But uh, yeah, first up, Detective Parks versus Shave Ice. Hmm. All right, they're going to start. Just take a second here to like fix up the bracket. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, looks like they AFK'd on the screen, but I guess this is who they play. Or uh, might be doing a button Detective check. Detective Park's there. Is this just a button check or something? I uh, yeah, I can only assume. I mean, yeah. What else could it be? All right. Yeah. Hey. Uh, all right. They reset. I hope that doesn't cause these things. I know it can in some games. Uh, I've reset on this game before. It didn't cause me issues. All right. Cool. So, yeah, Shave Ice with the Kazuya and Detective Parks on Boggy. Boggy is a very interesting character. Tense the anti-air. And oh. very aggressive play so far. Oh, nice dive kick. Yeah, I'm liking those RDPs from Kazuya. They're kind of kind of an interesting uh, all-around option, just kind of... Can use it as a poke. They're kind of safe on block. Oh, ooh, that's, ooh, that's a big combo. Oh, this could kill. Oh, that's stun. That's it for sure. Yeah, that's it. Very nice combo from Detective Parks. Yeah, Everybody so knows his stuff. Foggy has you in the corner. That's kind of it. Otherwise, like outside of the corner, he just gets a sweep. I think. Oh, uh, nice punish. Right. And not much fireball game. Oh, there's the. Uh, that's a very tough move to punish. Yeah, Grand Viper. Ooh, nice DP. Foggy's pretty well equipped to punish it, but yeah, some characters, not fun. Oh. Ooh, nice sweep. Oh, but a very nice wake up DP. Oh, another anti air. Yeah. Uh, Detective Park's getting caught jumping along. Oh, and that goes under that? Didn't know. Yeah, so. Boggy, I mean, he's got some interesting air options, but he's really strong on the ground. Got some really good pokes and like standing medium kick, crushing heavy punch. Oh, good block. Right, Box the overhead. Oh, it doesn't go for a punish though. And like many old games, DPs are not easy to punish here. 
I think Boggy's best option might be his uh, reverse tiger knee, that uh, spinning move. Mm. He kind of goes into the air for it. It's pretty fast. Ooh. Ooh, uh, another wake of DP. Oh, and the overhead catches him doing something. Oh, but nice sweep to get out of that situation. Oh, but that's a free punish. Right. It's a dangerous situation. Cause both of them got super. Oh, nice oh, chase. Oh, and gets caught by the ground viper. Right. Wait, and that's game one to shave ice. All right. Oh. Oh, nice. Uh, whatever that move is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, input on that's reverse DP. It's kind of like a fake dive kick because it uh, looks a lot like Boggy's neutral jump during the startup. Ah. Uh, oh, nice. Oh. It would be really funny if that connected. Uh, plus frames in the sweep. Oh, another DP and into the ground viper and it lands. So. However, it's part, oh, but not anymore. But nice jump and catches the fireball. All right, punish this, And please. this could oh. be it. Oh, but misses the punish. Uh, oh, is that, I think one of, oh, it is, wow. Yeah, well, all right. Fortunately, in this game, double KOs do not count as a win for either player. Oh, stun. Oh, catches, oh, but mashes out too quickly to lead to a punish. Yeah. Oh. oh. Just throws him there. Of course. <laughs> Guess it happens. And yeah, Detective Parks is not getting his punishes here. I, Gets a I DP punish. Think as Boggy, you should just... If you can't sweep, you should at least crouching heavy punch. That move's really good. Ouch. Oh, and just DP is probably would have chip killed either way, so... Yeah, that's the best option there. Oh, nice uh, anti-air. Unfortunately, Boggy's fireball doesn't lead to much on air hits. Yeah. The the nice like, tech up. with that is uh, the little shrug he does after that can also juggle. Mm. Yeah, that would be really ball. close. Ooh. Ooh, nice jump in. Oh, but gets caught with the ground viper, and this game is very close. Ooh, but wake up throw. Now... The other funny thing in this matchup is that uh, Ground Viper actually goes under Boggy's uh, reversal there. Just manages to low profile it somehow. Yeah, oh, and I guess he's looking to bait some kind of option or something, but yeah, that's just a free punish. Alright, it's 2-0. That was a so, fun yeah, watch, Yeah, 2-0, Shave Ice. Yeah, it report. looks like there are some technical issues for high quality ice, so we'll have to see if those are resolved. Yeah, I'm gonna skip him for now. Uh, can get Dimax versus Mech. All right. Now I know Dimax from a bunch of things, but I think most recently he's been working on a Gundam EX review for, and that's on Mizumi Wiki now. That's got a bi-weekly series of its own. Incredible game. Yeah. So you've played it. I have not played it, but I've watched it. It looks awesome. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've played it like a few times. I haven't gone uh, that deep into it, but I don't know. Maybe I'll enter one of those tournaments. Uh, yeah, I've played yeah. other Gundam games, but not that one. Yeah, there's a lot of pretty solid uh, Gundam fighters out there. Yeah. I don't know, Meg is like, obviously you can tell they're like in the Melty Blood scene. I don't know anything about that scene, to be honest. But uh, <laughs> thank you for checking this game out. It's my honest it thoughts. Okay. Yep. Alright. Alright, looks like it's uh, Kazuya versus Liwa. Yeah. Oh, and I mean... Uh, Lee is a good choice. Uh, her page is pretty is complete on the wiki. She's got a lot of really strong tools. She's got like uh, one Ooh, weird nice input. anti air. It's like a four one two punch, and like the heavy punch version of that is imagine hundred hands, but it launches. It's really stupid. 
It's like 100. Is it plus? Isn't it plus on block too? I think it's actually zero, but yeah, might as well be. I like that spacing. Oh. Ooh, catches him doing something. And Kazuya's fireball game, it can be very rough to deal with. Oh, and good air to air. But it doesn't convert into a double jump. Oh, but nice dive kick. And this is oh. still very close, but oh, the sweep ends it. I do, I do respect that attempt to like walk up throw and I don't know, maybe the, in theory there's like an OS that Lihua can do where she can uh, OS throw and forward heavy kick. Because her forward heavy kick like uh, low crushes. Wonder if I'll see that come into play. Oh, wake up DP catches him. Jump in, but yeah, this is looking pretty rough for Maxi here. Yeah, the other thing to worry about is like, uh, if you're jumping in on someone, you can you can double jump cancel on hit or on block, and that leads to a lot of mix-ups. Yeah. All right, it's one for Dimax. So. I guess we'll see if there's taking their time to continue, but I guess we'll see if there's an adaptation here, or maybe even a character switch. No, nope, sticking with Liwa. Yeah. I think Liwa is a very strong defensive character, but Kazuya is also playing pretty defensive, so mm -hmm. this All can right, be rough. Now, it does make sense what uh what Zara's saying in the chat about uh she has an OS with her DP eyes on and throw because her uh. Her DP is a Tiger Knee input, 2369 Light Punch, or like, whatever, any punch. This round is pretty close, but good DP. Ooh. Ooh, that, I guess that goes under the Tornado. I think he just uh, hit her on startup, because the Tornado, Maybe. it's like, it's solid, it like reaches the floor, reaches above the uh, camera a little bit. Not oh, all the way up, punish. actually. Ooh. And that throw is so uh, funny looking too. Just picks you up like a baby. Yeah. Now, another tool uh, Lihua has is a 2146P. That's like her, you know, on block punisher or with punisher, whatever. It's really fast, covers a good distance. Right. And wow, this round is looking, once again, very much in Kazuya's favor. Oh. This guy that's rough. Yeah, and that's it. Alright, 2 for Dimax. Yep. Uh, rough, well, some of those rounds are pretty close. Uh, so, good job, Dimexi. Yeah. I think, like, the thing with Lee in this matchup, she has to kind of make reads, like, you know, DP, DP those fireballs, or, like, sweep under them, which is another weird thing she can do, because they sweep really low profiles. There's a lot of low profile sweeps in this. Yeah. Her slide actually doesn't go under the fireballs, ironically enough. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay. It's Toast Rider versus uh, Conspiratorial. Hold on, let me make sure I spell that right. Good. All right. Uh. Oh, no. Some that I got confused because uh, high quality ice and soul force, or I guess playing or testing it. I don't know. But we'll yeah, get they're Toast testing Rider right conspiratorial, now. Uh, up on stream. Right. But yeah, Liwa a character with a lot of potential, just kind of weird inputs. Uh, I've, yeah. I played like, a couple good Liwas. It can be very rough trying to fight her when they know what they're doing, 
especially once she gets her pressure going. Uh, she has so many great ways to just like keep you locked in place and just to punish your attempts to punish her. And then she gets massive reward when she does get her big hits in. Yeah. Uh, thanks, Moonmaster, for the sub for uh, five months. Five months in a row. Man, you should have been here. I it's, it's weird, right? Like, Justin Wong, I swear I saw him register, but unregister? I don't know what's up with that. But uh, we got a pretty well-sized bracket up today. Uh, still waiting on Conspiratorial. Let me see if he's in Discord. Let me see what what I could do if uh, if I don't have a conspiratorial here at the moment. As mm -hmm. I can skip ahead to uh, Zar versus Shave Ice or Scuddy versus Dimax. Yeah, I guess we have like stuff. I'm gonna give him like uh, another minute to respond, and then I'll I'll just. We'll just move on in the bracket. Yeah. Not not like DQing if I can help it, but yeah. Hmm. Oh, sup, Alex? And while people are waiting, I just want to remind you all about the uh, Matcherino. We got a Matcherino for this event. Simple. I think now they don't even require you to enter the code. You can just hit claim code and it'll do it for you, but... uh. You got 34 out of 50 remaining. So if anyone has not used their code yet, uh, feel free. It'd be fun if we could get all 50 of those used. If not, well, no big deal. Sitting at 470, uh, 495 right now. Nice. All right, uh, conspiratorials here. Let's get into it. All right. And Toast Rider plays uh, McCoy, to my knowledge. Yep, there we go. Yep. Liza and McCoy. All right. I think Moon Master will have some insight into this matchup because he plays both characters. Mm. So feel free to okay, point this stuff out. Liza's a very strange character, but strong. And... I mean, she is definitely... She's a charge character for a really ridiculous match movie that, like, launches for combos. Yeah. Oh. Uh, McCoy has some great advantages like uh, he has some very he has I think the only grounded overhead in the game. Unless you're counting Kazuya's thing and he also has some very good lows uh, yep. to go with it. He's got um, uh, and two slides too. And very strong combos. Uh, can even even as a pseudo infinite, although I've never oh. seen Toast do it. Yeah. Oh, a nice air. Yeah, that's another thing that uh, we haven't got a chance to really we haven't really seen come into play yet. But this game does have a uh, restands. The only issue is they're like frame perfect. If you hit someone, the frame before they would land, uh, you know, they'll just be in grounded hit stun. Otherwise, they'll get either reset or they'll be knocked down if you're late. And Marco is an interesting choice. Kind of, he has some like Dalsim like moves, but also some very interesting projectiles in that move. Yeah. He's kind of It's got... an invincible mash move that is safe and juggles in the corner. The other thing he's got is a kind of rocket punch if he does uh, down all three punches in the air. Wonder if we'll see that come out. But right now he's doing pretty good by just kind of doing the mash move. Yeah, just kind of doing it and getting away with it. Although McCoy might not have a good way to punish it. I think uh, he doesn't really have any like long range disjoints or anything to my knowledge. I think you can just take the slide if anything that'll probably hit it. But uh, yeah, it seems. I think it's a bit of like un matchup unfamiliarity, unfamiliarity with oh. Toast Rider here. I don't know if he's fought uh, Marco before. Oh, and just gets hit by the jumping, and that's it. The butt. But 
All right. Let's see if he can get the adaptations here, though. Another uh, surprisingly good poke of McCoy's is a uh, standing heavy kick. That one's actually disjointed, but it's kind of not that rewarding otherwise. Oh, and good air to air. Oh, and catches him with a double overhead. Oh, and nice sweep. And another overhead. Oh, catches oh. him with the instant jump. Oh, nice anti-air though. And right. another air-to-air -air trade. So this is in uh, Tosar's advantage. Ooh, gets caught there. Yeah, it's getting caught by more jump-ins and it's almost even now. Oh. Oh, first projectile gets punished. Oh, could just go for a chip here and catches him with the mash move. All right. So, we oh. trade there, but, oh, oh, that's going to be a punch. Oh, but misses it. Oh, nice sweep. Jeez, oh, with the super? Oh, I wish that super uh, hit. That super is not the it, best. It wouldn't have taken the round, but it still would have been nice. Yeah. Oh, getting caught. This, oh. this could, oh, but, yeah. The secret poke. All right. All right, that's going to be 2-1 for Conspiratorial. The Marco switch proving to be a bit much for Toast. Nice. All right. Then... So, uh, anyone want to update me on Soul Force and high quality ice? Can HQI play or no? I'm guessing not. Uh... I just want to like confirm. Uh... All right, so high quality dice not able to play. Let me just uh, DQ him there. So we're on to winners round two now. Uh... All right. So I guess so... it'll be Czar against Shave Ice then. Yep. All right. This is going to be a fun one, like, regardless of who Zar plays. Yeah, Zar plays a lot of characters, and he's, like, good with all of them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> Zar, I, I actually wonder if I can, like, pull up the bracket for the first tournament, the one that Zar entered, but uh, pretty sure he got second. Let me, let me see. He's really good. And, like, uh, neither Justin nor uh, Moo Master are here, so I think he's got this. Mm. All right. Yeah, I've played against him a good bit, and some characters are really rough to fight against with him. So it looks like we got the Kazuya on Wulong. Uh, this is an interesting matchup because their fireballs don't hit; they just actively avoid each other, and both can play kind of lame. Oh, nice. Nice sweep. And meaty sweep again. Yeah. And Ooh. That dive kick is weird. Oh, but that's probably the best DP in the game. It's very hard to challenge. As well as just being incredibly safe. So yeah, Zar, ooh, but good ground Viper, and that's a lot of damage thanks to Crush, but wake up throw, puts him in the corner. Oh, oh, that's going to be a lot of damage. And this is a rough situation, lots of plus frames. Yeah. Oh, cross up. Oh, all right, and good that's block. also very plus. Yeah, there's a lot of like tricky cross up situations Wulong can set up. Oh, oh that, that didn't hit. hit. Yeah, I'm shocked. All right. Oh. oh, and just catches the ground viper with fireball. Like, uh, Wulong has like a SNK style ground fireball, so that leads to some funny interactions in this game since there's a lot of low profile and moves. Mm. It's also uh, 
It's got like more startup but less recovery than Kazuya, so it's really good yeah. in specific situations. It he doesn't less like, in most situations. Yeah, he doesn't run like a fireball trap the same way, but it's really interesting. Oh, and throwing, Although, keeping up this fireball game and just keeping uh, Shave Ice out. Yeah, this may be oh, like a matchup thing. Oh, and the landing. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, meaty nunchucks? That's interesting. The move actually can be plus on hit for the heavy version because it's so fast. Oh! Oh, wake right. up throw after missing the chicken. That would have Oh, me that's gonna too. be it. Oh, I, it throws him. Solid. Yeah, very solid game from Zar here. Oh, oh and <laughs> anti airs that move. Yeah, Nunchuck's got a ridiculous hitbox. It's just a half circle back motion can be kind of inconvenient. Yeah, Ooh. just catching him with all these plus frames. Oh, There's... and anti airs too. I think just due to Wulong being so short and mobile, it's kind of uh, a liability to use Boggy's projectile. Like, Wulong doesn't really have ways oh. to, like, traditionally mix up the opponent, but, like, all these plus frames and stuff are just kind of catching Shave Ice, and that's gonna be it. Yeah, he's very, like, he's fast, he's kind of scary to challenge if he's up in your face. I mean, I think Boggy has some hope of keeping him out, it's just, uh very heavy on the normals yeah so, uh, so that is a solid game by czar and it looks like i'm gonna be up next against soul force all right have fun i will <laughs> soul force uh all right there we go And yeah, at this point, losers round one can play off stream. I think the rest of it will uh, get on stream. It's so far to me, right? <clears throat> and then after this, we're going to get uh, Scuddy versus Dimex. So, uh, Scuddy, if you're here, just uh, it won't be too long. Alright. So far, it's rocking Boggy. I'm about it. <clears throat> this is probably his character. Uh, you know, his most. one he has most fun with. Ooh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I actually don't know if it's everyone except for Gonzalez, or if it's like there's another character or two there that can't crouch uh, the kiss there. Yeah, Zara, apparently they just like. They have all the thing, you just like click claim and it does it for you. Ooh, there's that crouching heavy punch. <clears throat> God, really need to drink some water. <laughs> Alright, good with the, uh, the backup dive kick. Ooh, blocks a cross up. Mibza's tech is looking solid, I mean he's got all the cross up tricks he needs. All right, nice follow up on that crouching heavy kick. Ooh, overshoots that cross up a little bit. Nice. The second forward heavy kick, the uh, needle kick there. Really long range, low uh, low crush. You know, it's good for him. A little bit of startup, but that's kind of the rule with Azteca. All right. Some all-star probes coming out from Soul Force right now. Ooh, nice. Yeah, as crouching heavy kick can kind of low profile on startup. The hitbox is a little uh, weird. It kind of kind of gets a big hurtbox after the first frame. Oh, empty jump command grab. Doesn't quite KO because you can mash that to reduce damage. Oh, and you know back to back mashing. Y'all can, can get your JoJo's references out of the way. Alright. Uh, what's that score? Two, one for Soul Force, right? Uh, I don't mind the Matrina redesign. I think it looks kind of smooth. It's just like, if you've been using the old one for a while, it's kind of weird. 
I do like that it's got all the like social links up in one place. Alright. Soul Force already pulling ahead with the lead. Oh, anti airs with the projectile and then trades favorably with the Blanca ball. Round two. Fight. Yeah. As it could be a little cluttered, I'm fine with it, but I, you know. The only thing, I'm not sure why they really felt the need to change it. I just, I, I like how the codes work now. Oh, damn. Some pretty big damage. Oh, catches a jump out. I actually think if he had gotten a uh, light kick version of that up kick, he would have actually picked up the juggle. Alright. Mid running some set play, but uh, Soul Force gets out of that by blocking. Ooh. Good anti air, uh, air to air. I guess it was medium punch. Actually, not 100% on Boggy's buttons. But there you have it. Yeah, those some those were some close games. Dang. Oh well. Yeah. All right. Uh. Next up, I'm gonna. Uh, hold on. Now we're gonna get Scuddy versus uh. Hold on. Shalange is taking a second to report that. As soon as this goes away, I'll be able to actually read the bracket. Uh, I can just report it. Yeah, or so forth. So. Never mind. Right. Scuddy versus Diamax. Cool. Okay. Oh, they already started. All right. Toast Rider beat Shave Ice 2-0. Uh, can commentate this, but... Uh, hmm. I'm gonna have to fight Actually, my losers match eventually. Yeah. I think after, because I don't want mine to be on there with no commentary, but. I, don't uh, know. I could just do it now. Uh, sure, feel free. Alright. Alright. Go ahead. So, Dimax sticking with Kazuya. Uh, Scuddy playing Gecko, one of the very few Gecko players we have here. Oh. Interesting, uh, using the. You know. Genrodan, or Grand Viper as we like to call it here, has a little invincibility on startup, which is a really funny decision considering a low, low profiles like that. Ooh. And yeah, Denkuga is just ripe for getting a counter poke near the top. Might be, but I, I don't know if I like. I wouldn't be able to commentate and play a different match. So, at some point, you know, something's gonna give. Ooh, almost picks up the juggle there. Yeah. Ooh, got some of the crouching, uh, jumping heavy punch again. Yeah, Gecko's got some uh, ignorant buttons, and his air tatsu just gives you a free juggle state right there. I mean, yeah, I'm I'm not gamer enough. I don't have gamer genes. Like, Canadian. Where I like, you know, Japanese or Korean, maybe that'd be different. Ooh. Hey, that was interesting. Gekko's got some uh, interesting buttons. Not sure I would have done the standing heavy kick there, but it worked out. Oh. That forward heavy kick, nice. Oh, no punish. Also no punish from Scuddy. Oh, that would have been a nice combo to pick up. Oh, this is really close. Oh, is that a hit? Ouch. That was a good fireball. Oh, round start. 
it's like offensive how good of an option round start a uh, Grand Viper is sometimes. Yeah. I think people gotta remember, uh, you know, if they're in a jump situation like that, you can, you can always neutral jump or jump back if you want to be tricky. Canceling into Eratatsu works, but it's like something you do, you know, once in a while because it's kind of punishable on block. Oh, but the chip out. Damn. Alright, so that's 2 0 for Scotty. I mean, if I think about it, chip damage in this game is kind of reasonable compared to like Street Fighter 2 or, or select uh, Fatal Fury games. Gecko is definitely a bit of an asshole character. Alright, it's so mid playing mech right now. So, got a report. Uh, I call the ice is DQ'd, and then I'm gonna have to play a conspiratorial. Mm -mm. Uh, okay. Wait, okay. If uh, Dimax and High Quality Ice are able to play somehow, then I'll uh, I'll fix that one up because they are they are testing it out now. But uh, I'm gonna have to play conspiratorial. All right, gonna have to uh, go silent for this one. Actually, I'll leave it on. You see how I can keep up. Uh, shit. Round one. Uh, All right, I am back now. Oh, cool. I luckily I uh, chance conspiratorial, and my stick was not plugged in. So, uh, what's up? Uh, I won my game two one. 2-1, nice, alright. Uh, yeah, Meg, feel free to, uh, you know, try out this game, ask me any questions after the after the tournament. I'd love to have more people pick this up, but I'm, I'm happy with how it's grown so far. I mean, we'll see in the lead-up to uh, Vortex Gallery what else I can do, because the wiki's almost finished. All right. Yeah, it's one of the best wikis on Mizumi, if I say so myself. Nice. Alright, let me get into a conspiratorial. Yep. I'll commentate this and then get to my next losers game. Okay. Round one. Fight. Okay. Oh, time there a bit late, but uh Oh wow, uh Polar Bear with a stun. And okay, so Conservatorial playing Marco. Um, saw a good bit of him earlier, and oh, punishes the mash move. It's not unbeatable. And uh, yeah, big life lead. This round is almost done. Oh, and yeah, the I guess side dive kick move takes it. And that's gonna be round one. Okay. And yeah, lots of jump ins, and, but they're very rewarding and uh. Polar Bear isn't consistently entering it. Very low to the ground, but slow jump, so it can be annoying. And catches him on the mash move, but gets an air reset. Oh, and there's the flash kick. Resets. And that's super plus, but only gets a dive kick. Oh, but lands the Thunder Fang. And oh yeah, you... 
Uh, Marco's projectile is very slow to come out, so that's gonna win there. And that's game one to Polar Bear with his bards. Oh, and looks like we'll be seeing a switch here to Kazuya. Uh, Kazuya has a better fireball than uh, Marco, but I don't know if it can win this fireball war, but oh. Oh, nice throw after uh, whiffing the sidekick. And that is, I don't think that's plus, but it's not punishable at least. Oh, and nice link. Ooh, a couple jump-ins. Gets anti-aired. Oh, and gets caught by the second hit. Oh, but just anti-airs him. Oh, and this could, he could be chipped. Oh, but lands the sidekick. And, oh, uh, oh, they traded something and Polar Bear's option just didn't do enough damage. So, ooh, nice jump in, lands a couple kicks. Oh, catches him, I think, shooting a fireball. Oh, well, not punishing that. And catches him again with the second hit of that move. And air resets. Yeah, these are some very nice play by Polar Bear right here. Oh, but lands a jump in. And yeah. Oh, whiffs it into the throw and... Oh, it doesn't go for the chip for some reason though. I guess he's worried about uh, DP, but lands a dive kick and that'll be it. That's a round for Polar Bear. So that's game point for him. Oh, catches on fireball. Oh, but throws him. I guess he is two minus from that jump in. Oh, nice fireball. Ooh. Actually, yeah, this is very much in Conspiratorial's favor here. And yeah, but another nice sidekick. Sweeps, just gets knocked down. Oh, but now it's one hit here. It's fireballing, but oh, gets caught by the jump in, and that's gonna be a game, so 1 1 now. Uh, Kazuya switch seems to be working out. And I guess we'll see what Polar Bear does here. I don't think he'll switch. Yeah, he's stay sticking with parts. Oh, and catching with Thunder Knuckle. And Gong Court. Oh, but sweeps him out, and now. Getting caught by these jump-ins, and that's a big life lead already. Oh, could have ended it, but misses his double jump button. Oh, it gets hit by a fireball. And the trade. I, he might have been looking for a throw there, but it didn't give him it. Uh, round start Thunder Knuckle whiffs. Uh, that's a bizarre anti-air. Oh, and this is gonna be a good reset, but oh, gets caught by. Oh, the stun. That's gonna be game, I think. Or, no, it won't. Uh, but yeah, this is a rough situation. Could look for a chip kill here. Uh, oh, but this is. This is actually surprisingly close. Oh, but jumps over the fireball and gets the punish. Okay, and that's a round, so game point for both of them. Oh, that's gonna be a good conversion, and lands that. Oh, but gets sweeped. Oh, but goes over the fireball, no punish though, because of the extended hurt box. Oh, but into your fireball. Oh, but jumps over the fireball, lands a clean punish, but Thunderfang back into the corner. Oh, and dive kick lands. Oh, throws him after a whiff jump in. Oh, and lands some light kicks. Doesn't add much, but it gets him off. And, ooh, just one, mo just one more hit, and yeah, there it is for Polar Bear. That's going to be two rounds for Polar Bear and the game. Nice play. Uh, very close. Ooh. Yeah, that was really close. Nice. Yeah, good job. I had a lot of fun uh, in that matchup. I kind of I got really predictable with the fireballs, but like double fireball is strong if you have the space to throw it. Yeah, especially since it'll just uh, it'll just clean beat uh, Kazuya's fireball. All right. Uh, what do we got? Right, so, so I'm gonna go play my losers match now. All right.
Uh, I'll have uh, Zari vs. Soul Force up on stream. Yeah, I think Losers Round 2 can be off unless we like get to a point where Bracket is, where that's all we can play. Uh, so yeah, winner's semifinals now. This is still first of two. Soul Fours, uh, there we go. All right, there they go. Yeah, I think after that next winner's semis match, we're gonna have everything else on stream. All right, Boggy Mirror. Ooh, Jay McCoy. Round one. Fight. All right. Let's see how Zarm navigates this matchup, but he's uh, spacing his slides well. You know, fainting the overhead. Because the overhead, you actually have to space a little bit. If you're too close, it might actually whiff over them entirely. Ooh, and there's those double aerials. If you use a heavy aerial, you usually recover in time to throw out another one. A few exceptions to that. Oh, just throws him on his landing. All right. So I'm kind of showing off his game sense. He hasn't got to show off McCoy's, uh, you know, combos, juggles so far, but good job already. Ooh. I do like how he's, you know, neutral jumping and charging during it, and he's got that that one move McCoy's, uh, that straight punch, it's really fast, it's charge back, forward, back, or, uh, four, six, four punch. Oh, like the instant overhead. McCoy's got some instant overheads, yep. Oh, slide train. Yeah, slide's actually, like, forget off the top of my head it might be something like minus three point blank so if it's space it's uh hard to punish or impossible for some characters oh charging heavy punch on reaction to that dive kick <laughs> yeah chris that's a it's an interesting point how this game got a kazuya and a wulong before tekken what, what a world we would have been in if Kaiser Knuckle or Dankuga took off. Or if Dankuga got released and Kaiser Knuckle just kind of fell off the face of the earth unless you want to want to do the general challenge. Oh. Alright. So if we're switching to uh, Kazuya and that was a good Grand Viper to chase down the backdash. I feel like people underutilize backdash in this game, myself included, because they're uh, invincible on startup and they're pretty generous. Oh, crush bonus damage on that straight punch. Alright. Yep, yep, fireball to stop him. At this point, you really need to get Jay McCoy off you, but it's not easy to guess. Even if you guess right and you block the slide, again, he's plus and he's kind of in your face. Oh. Oh. McCoy could have actually got a full punish, uh... If he had, I'm not sure if he had charged there when he got hit by that uh, air DP or had it blocked. This is looking like a strong situation for Kazo. Oof. Yep, got on cancelling the sweep into Fireball. Some characters, I think McCoy might be one of them, uh, can actually you know use something to low profile the Fireball after that. It really, de you have to be quick on it. may have not actually worked at that spacing, but McCoy's got that uh, jet upper on back forward kick. Oh, goes for the cross up Thunderbolt. Oh. Alright. Yeah, I think if I'm Soul Force, that might be a good time to backdash, but uh. Oh! Attempts to uh, get out of there with the Thunderbolt because it's got a little startup invincibility, but that's not enough. Yep. 
Thunderbolt just has uh, eight frames of invincibility on startup, I want to say. I'm not finished McCoy's wiki page, so it's kind of... I don't like have that on top of my head. Ooh. So I'm bringing out the probably the most bullshit character in this game in Gecko. His only weakness is uh is kind of low health and stun, but stun uh, recovers pretty quickly unless you're getting hit by some really strong moves. You're usually not at risk getting stunned. Ooh, good use of double jump there. Gecko is one of the only characters who can empty double jump. Most other characters or all of them uh, only get that option if they hit you or get blocked. Oh, see, like, that is nasty with that air fireball angle in it. Depending on the version he uses, either sticks in place on the ground for a second or it rolls. Oh, interesting dive kick. Gecko's dive kick got a lot of the startup, but it's kind of deceptive. And when he's virtually off screen like that, it's hard to tell. Oh. Assume that neutral jump might have been intended to be a uh, instant tatsu. The problem with instant air tatsu is, you know, it'll move you forward unless you do it out of back jump. Ooh! Okay, that could have been crazy. Oh! Get, that might have been trip guard. Gets trip guarded by Kazuya Super. Oh. This is dangerous. Oh no. So Zar takes that. That was really close though. I think if... Uh, I actually don't know if Soul Force could have gotten button out in time to uh, trade with that, or... Yeah, that's a tough situation for sure. Yeah, well played from Zar, but uh, really good kind of back and forth games. Alright, so that's 2-1 for Zar. Soul Force definitely put up a fight. Uh, what do we got right now? Uh, Spiritual Detective Parks is off stream. Uh, Mib versus Toast Rider. Check in on Mib versus Toast Rider just to see where that's at. Uh, ooh, that's 2 1. All right. Uh, darn, no oh well. Alright, happens. Toast Rider's been kind of grinding this game. Uh, uh, I've been playing with him a lot, actually. Oh, right, yeah. Wow. Yeah, so... All right. Yeah, I, uh, just a few mistakes can cost you. Alright. So, oh well, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna play Scotty for winners, uh... Okay. And we can run through the loser's bracket and do the rest of that on stream. Alright. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll get Conspiratorial and Dimax on stream after this. I think we've got time. Okay. All right, we're in. Okay. So, I assume Polar Bear will be sticking with the Barts. I have not actually seen Scooty Sky play today. Oh, Liza. Okay. So. Okay, so, oh, with, I don't know why I whiffed there, but with something. Oh, and catches him with the sidekick into Thunderfang. Ooh, big combo into a reset. Wow, nice. And yeah, a Polar Bear with a very strong start. Uh, Bart's using some zoning, but... Oh, oh, and double Thunder Knuckle uh, works out. Oh, but the wake up and small juggle. This is still... Uh, ooh, yeah, this is very close. Ooh, but a bit more chip from... Oh, but I guess that either chipped or he got caught doing something. Hard to tell. 
that's round one, the Scooty, or Scuddy, I don't know how to pronounce it to be honest. And walking, oop. Oh, nice air to air on it though. Uh, oh, and another Thunder Fang, Thunder Knuckle. Yeah. Ooh, and that looked like a trade, but I'm not really sure. Oh, and almost catches him with the low profile under the fireball. Oh, and punishes the reversal. And, ooh, just one more hit. And yeah, gets caught going for the re-jump. For the air reset. Ooh, early jump in. And a lot of, ooh, and nice sweep. Uh, wake up option though from Polar Bear. And the trade. Still slightly in like uh, Scuddy's favor. Oh, but big sweep and now in the corner. Hmm. Oh, and punishes him for the sidekick. And big thunder knuckle but whiffs. And just kind of zoning him out here and catches him in the air. And yeah, that's game one to Scuddy with some solid play there. Round one. Sticking with Bartz, of course. And oh, nice. Catches him in, out of the air. Oh, and funky cross up there. Or it wasn't a cross up, but is weird. Oh, and reversal into sweep. And catches him doing something again. And flash kick trades. That's unfortunate. Round two. Fight. So it's round one to Scuddy. That's match. That's game point. Oh, okay. Fireball trades with the uh, lunging attack. And just some zoning here. Uh, doesn't get an air to air this time. This, oh, but in the corner, this is going to be a big conversion. Yeah, into stun. That's And that's another big combo for nice damage. Oh, but the wake up reversal. This is still close. And yeah, just hmm, this is still close. Oh, but one more hit could do it for Polar Bear here. Just zoning him out. Oh, and Flash kicks the uh, him when he tries to catch him from the back, I guess. Yeah, and that's a round on the board. Polar Bear's still in this. Oh, and blocks the lunging move and gets a fireball. Nice. Resets, uh, trades something, seemed like Feral trade, and catches him with the double aerial, but reversal again. No launch. Oh, and Fireballs catches uh, Scuddy out of the lunging move, and that's going to be a game. So 1-1 one, one now. Staying close. Round one. Fight. Sticking with Liza, of course. And no punish. Oh, a Thunder Knuckle catches him doing something. Oh, by the wake of reversal. Oh, that could have been huge if the wall hadn't broken there. Oh, and Bird catches him. Oh, and nice sweep. No punish there, but I don't know if that can be punished. Okay, psychic. Just flying around, but big advantage, and yeah, that's it. Nice round from Scuddy. And, oh, jumps in and catches him doing a fireball. Oh, big start for uh, Scuddy, but big sweep. Oh, and yeah, big life lead right now. Trying to get his fireballs out, but just getting caught by the birds in the monkey. Oh, goes over it, but this puts himself in the corner and gets kicked by the reversal. That's going to be it. 2-1 Scuddy. Close games. Wow, all right. That was nice. I did try to pull yeah. out uh, Bart Super, their final spark, but it's got a lot of startups, so it kind of just got sniped by Bird.
Yeah, Bard's super isn't the best. It's got like some niche use. Me and Argyle were talking about it a bit, but he's got to kind of. It's got to be labbed out a bit. It's kind of scary to I've challenge. I've been hit by it once, so. Yeah. It's got like niche applications. I think it's better against like characters that are willing to rush you down. And Liza can be that, but at that point he was kind of. Uh, yeah, keep to rely on fireballs. Yeah. All right. Okay. And so the winner's finals, when we get to that, will be Zar versus Scuddy. Yeah. So it's like Conspiratorial losers. and Dimax are playing. We could go ahead and watch them if see what's right. left of it. Yeah, losers round two. Or I guess they're they reset one, one. the game or something. It says they're one one, but I don't know if that's because uh, they reset or what. And well, looks like it's gonna be Kazuya against Azteca. Nice to see another Azteca besides me. Ooh, nice. Uh, Azteca has very good air options, like very good aerials and very lots of air movement options. Oh, that's a bizarre choice. Oh, all right. <laughs> Lately, he's kind of yeah. pressing jump heavy. Lots kick of there. neutral here. Uh, tries to overhead for some reason. <laughs> uh, yeah. Sphere Turret kind of just jumping around. Looks like there may be some unfamiliarity from Dimax. Yeah, Sega is tricky, but there's a... Uh... Kaz has probably got some of the better anti-airs in the game, just between his normals and his uh, Dan Kuga, obviously. Uh, but, uh, like, well, it's like uh, his DP like will be will even be some of the time uh, Azteca's dive cape, which is meant to kill anti-airs. So, oh, yeah, I haven't personally oh, seen that that's happen, a but I, I could believe it if it's timed really well. Oof. Uh, like, uh, Liwa can do the same with her DP. Yeah. But Liwa's is also just a disjoint, so... Oh, nice anti-air. Oh, and catches him whiffing a button. Yeah, he's uh, kind of like... Oh, that could have been dangerous, ouch. Oh, and just ends it with the jumping heavy punch. Jumping heavy punch is an incredible button, by the way. Uh, yeah. Disjointed and... Has an option select with air throw, so very strong uh, button, and you see okay. it stand a lot. I guess that one one might have been from the reset. All right, I'm gonna assume there's zero one right now. Yeah. I think. Uh, with, yeah. Uh, I think in this uh, in this matchup, like you've got a there are spaces where it's safe to throw fireballs. You just want don't want to do it too close. If you can like, uh, you know, do an instant air ball to beat that. I think uh, Dimax needs to be anti airing more, like. Oh, ouch. Yeah, hey, Conspiratorial's just jumping in for free right now. He hasn't even started using the dive kick because he hasn't had to. <laughs> like, you can DP that or use Heavy Punch. Oh, there's a DP. Ooh, trade something, but it was a favorable trade, it appears. Yep. Oh, and there's another DP. Uh, tries to, I don't know what he's going for there, but nice fireballs. And there's another DP. Uh... Look, oh, nice. That, out, that, nor that air normal does not cross up, so that's not what you want to use in that situation. And Aww. chip kill does it. Could have uh, done hop there, although it, with how meaty that was, you probably could have punished hop. So it's kind of checkmate. Yeah, oh, the that's only other option. Punish. Only other option is backdash, and I don't know. I think the fireball might have scrolled off screen. Oh, those can't really take throw in this game. <laughs> yeah. It's interesting. You've got to kind of pause and get them to fear the strike throw, but it's like you got to take a second. Oh. Oh, nice throw. Uh, matches out of it pretty quick, though. Yeah. As far as hard numbers go, it's 20 frames of throw invincibility. Uh, hit, block, whatever. Okay, this is real close here. Conspiratorial's oh. on um, oh. game point though, so that this is a... yep high risk moves. Ooh, but DPs the Blanca ball, and that's gonna be a game for Dimax. 
Strong All adaptations right. there with starting to anti-air conspiratorial more consistently. Nice, nice. Round one. Yeah, Dimax okay, is there. And the Marco switch. Uh, I don't know much about this matchup. I mean, I want to say it's good for Kazuya by default. Uh, Marco does have some tricks. He can do a rocket punch to kind of stall him over the fireballs and hit Kazuya for it. Sweet. Oh, catches him doing something with the ground viper and big slow plus overhead. Oh, DPs. Uh, no throw there. DPs again, but DP was a bit late, so it traded. Or not Ooh. late, but I think that's just too active. Oh, that's gonna be a big con. Oh, but does a jump in too early. But just jumping a whole lot and. Ooh, but very nice conversion there. Oh. Ah, uh, you. Thing with oh, Kazuya, that's it, gonna be it. Oh, the thing you've got to realize with Kazuya is he's got hit confirms. He's got like a pretty plus one hit, you know, close light kick, close medium kick. He's got doesn't have to go for like Grand Viper, hoping that he's in the combo because it's usually mm -hmm. punishable on block. Okay, so it looks like the next game is gonna be. I guess actually we should probably have Polar Bear and Toast Rider first. Because uh, sure. since uh, Conspiratorial just played. Yeah, alright. Uh... Alright. It's me versus Toast Rider. Yeah, Marco is thick. And she kind of reminds me of uh, what's his name from uh vampire also let me try restreaming this to discord that might actually help on the delay side uh okay oh, uh, all right let me know if you can connect i connected although it's a little left right now <laughs> it should be good now so we got Ghost Rider with his mccoy he's been grinding this game a lot lately and i've been playing him a lot Oh, but that's a free punish. And... Ooh, that... Nice fireballs. Into Thunderfang catches him doing something. So, I'm pretty certain this is... Death favored for Barts. Uh, because... Like... McCoy has anti-fireball options, but they are not amazing. So... But... His pressure is great, but... Oh yeah, there's the just jabs him there, and that'll be the round. round two. Fight. And oh, but that slide is very good, but blocks the overhead. And let's see, just playing, kind of playing it safe. Oh, goes for what looked like a throw, but oh, that's a punish. But oh, misses the punish, and then gets caught. Unfortunate. And overhead. No combo, though. And... Ooh! Uh, Toast starting to get an advantage. Oh, big combo! Uh, that's not gonna be enough to kill, but this is a tough situation. Boxy overhead, but... Oh, that's plus. You can't challenge too much there. And that's going to be a round for McCoy. Um, nice. And a couple of sweeps, back dashes to get away. Um, chip damage starting to have, but another sweep. And, ooh, another one. Yeah, this is starting to look rough for Polar Bear here. Oh, and that's going to be it, I think. Oh, no, just an inch, but... Flash kicks, but he baits it successfully, and that is it. Damn, very nice from Toast. Okay, I don't imagine we'll see a switch, but Toast with a very clean play. And, oh, big slide, and overhead, no conversion. Oh, another slide. Wake up throw, though, that did a lot of damage for some reason. 
Uh... Oh, but big sidekick. No Thunder Knuckle, though. Oh, and another slide. Just these slides are giving uh, Polar Bear a lot of issues. Oh, and low into the upper. That's big damage. That's a round for Toast. That's game point. Mm. Oh, nice. Oh, crosses up, so the bun whiffs. Oh, but catches a fireball. And big thunder knuckle. Meaty fireball. Oh, but gets out of there. And air to air. Oh, nice. Catches him on his landing from the reset. Oh, but another slide and another slide. Overhead slide. Oh my god. And just like that, the life lead is even now. So McCoy is a menace. Oh, but big conversion from Polar Bear. And oh, that's almost it. But big slide. Just backdashes out of there. Oh, but gets caught doing something by the move. And that is it. Toast Rider, very clean out there. Uh... Wow, oh, very nice play. All right. Not going to lie, that Thunderbolt caught me off guard. Nice. Uh, he does that a lot to end games, I've noticed, when I play with him. It, I mean, it worked. I can't, I can't hit on that. All right. Like, if you're doing something unsafe, then he's going to get you with it. Or just doing anything in general, really. As long as it's not an anti-air. <laughs> I... Like that Soul Force got censored on Fight Kid. All right. Uh, Soul Force versus Conspiratorial. That's loses round three. Okay. So let's see how this yeah. one goes. Conspiratorial been playing a few different characters. And. But. And has been see strong with most of them. Yeah, I'm. I'm about. I actually kind of uh, afraid of like McCoy as Bards. I think I gotta mm -hmm. like rethink that matchup. Oh, the Gecko pick he hasn't picked this one before. Um, against the Boggy, Gecko is considered like the top tier of the game. Uh, very strong tools and just oh. a lot of DS, but nice reversal and bit of lights. Yeah, it's kind of interesting because his pokes are not spectacular. I mean, he's got some solid ones, but against someone like Boggy, they kind of hard to stack up. Yeah, Boggy has big buttons. Yeah, I think the and thing with Gecko, he's uh, underexplored and like obviously Kazuya. And even Li Hua, to a degree, are like more accessible as top tiers than him. But I think in theory, he's really strong. Mm. Oh, oh, nice, nice catch. fireball catches him landing. Oh, and just fireballing him out. Oh, but goes under and catches a sweep. Um. Oh, nice throw. Oh, good air oh. to air, but does not get the second, and that's going to be a throw. But nice sweep. Oh, and fireballs him on wake up. And just a button to finish it off. Nice. Mm. Still, I haven't really gotten to see any of Gecko's tricky mix-ups yet. Oh, oh nice anti-air. And a sweep. Ooh, cross-up. I did not that, block that. That's a lot of damage. That's a stun. You might be dead. Oh, oh but it whiffs. I guess that's a Gecko-specific thing. You would have done the, the kiss up close. You would have got the juggle hit. Might have been juggle uh, into the up kick. Mm. Mm. Oh, and the catches him landing from the air reset, and that's going to be a clean game from Soul Force. Takes game one. I was for him to come out. Okay, and we're seeing a switch to who hovers on Marco, and yep, it will be Marco. Uh, another matchup I really don't know anything about because I've never seen it. <laughs> Oh, catches him on air reset, and this is looking a bit rough. That's not plus. Oh, catch. Oh, the big butt strat is coming in, but anti airs. Oh, that's gonna hit. Can't really. Might have been able to rocket punch, actually. 
Oh, nice oh, job. Oh, not yeah. That was a rough place to be in. Round two. And oh, catches him doing the fake dive kick. But oh, crush. That's already even the and big sweep on landing. Oh, but big butt. Just oh. coming in with all these mashes and gets an anti air, but that's a knockdown. Oh, the, a bit too slow to get a conversion, but Ooh, gets this it is anyways. really close. No. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, the sweep just takes him out, and that's going to be 2 0 Soul Force. Dang. So the funny thing about this matchup is, uh, or these characters both have uh, command grabs for supers, although Boggy's or, or Marco's is kind of. Kind of hard to use because it's a weird long range command grab, but Boggy's works up close, so his is really strong. Bo Boggy's is really funny to get hit by. Yeah. Be annoying. It's like a, a real viable command grab, just straight up. I've been hit by it a couple times and it's it just goes on so long. <laughs> Alright. Uh so two oh so next force. Week. Yeah, we have Soul Force at Toast, I assume. Unless right. we're doing Winner's Finals now. Uh, yeah, no, you're right. Winner's Finals would probably be the move. So Zar versus Scuddy. Okay. Yep. Definitely like so something I haven't actually work. gone to see Zar play yet, I don't think. Or... No, I did, but E is kind of quick. <laughs> Yeah, so this is a first to three, and uh, yeah, like I said, I would I need to like tighten up how I run brackets a little bit. I think I want to make sure I like have got into my head what the order should be because I've I'm kind of doing this all you know, whatever feels right. But uh, I want to make a good impression for uh, Vortex Gallery, formerly Animevo. Anyway, we're going Wait, right into open it now. Yep. Yes. Yeah, just pretty exciting that this game is going to have a pretty big, is gaining a lot more attention now. Ooh, we got the Bart's pick versus Scuddy's Liza. So, let's see how he plays it. Yeah. Wow, Thunder like... Knuckle and Wake Up Flash Kick. First time I've seen that in a bit. I know Bart's is like the first character I saw Zar play. He kind of posted some tech for him very early on. Hmm. Meaty double fireball catches him. That's very plus. Can't really challenge there. And anything will kill now from Chip. And trades, that's a favorable trade for sure. Yep. So, strong first round. Oh. Oh, uh, does not punish the monkey. Yeah, that's another uh, thing. Boy. Um, these Bart's can do that neutral jumping heavy kick, and then he can come down with one of his dive kicks. Ooh, Thunder Knuckle uh, gets caught by the lunge attack. Oh, but gets the double fireball. The only thing about backdashing with Bart's is kind of scary. Is like you lose your charge. Ooh, that's obviously. gonna be a nice conversion. And oh. lots of fireballs. Playing a very patient game here. Yeah, he keeps very in your face when he feels like it, like here. Oh. Ooh, but this is rough. Oh, and just gets caught pressing something. But, uh, so that's a game for, I mean, round for Scuddy. Yeah, Liza's spin there is upper body invincible, so it's really scary when she, if she's up close. Thunder Knuckle. And throwing out fireballs, can't really punish there. Oh, lunging attack. Oh, and catches him again trying to do, uh... An animal. Oh, oh, nice sweep. Neutral jump. Oh, but air to air. Liza, yep. Oh. And this is very close. Oh, hanging out on the wall. A single hit Ouch. can do it for either player here. Oh, the crouching medium punch from the looks of it. Punished. Yep. All right, that's game one for Zar. There's this is first to three, so there's a lot more time. To like, he could pick a character here, then switch back if he felt like it. 
but Gecko is coming out. Very strong character. Oh, plus frames can't do anything there. Oh, already down to red health. Oh, nice flash kick. Oh. Oh, yeah. and that's plus. Bart's can do damage pretty quickly, and he he outputs some pretty good stun with the uh, spinning kick. So Gecko could get stunned yeah. pretty easily here. So let's see if Sky can get more time to play the game this round. Uh, ooh. Oh, punishes the fireball. Doing something there. <laughs> oh, nice sweep. And just, yeah, making use of his air movement very well. Oh, but big thunder knuckle. Gets caught on plus frames again. Ooh. All right, oh, no that's going to be a big conversion. Oh, could have been it. Yeah, oh, narrowly dodges that double fireball. I don't know if you can do this oh, forever. I'm just throwing fireballs out. Oh, Thunder Knuckle. Whiffed. Oh, and just jabs. And that's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I wish that was me. I wish that was <laughs> me up there. All right. Uh, this is too oh, old sticking for with the right gecko, now. though. Mm -hmm. Guess he felt it was working out better. Gets caught air to air. Oh, but sweep. Oh, and dodges the... Uh... There it's called. <laughs> Flash kick. Oh, nice sweep. And Oh, oh and that's going to be a conversion to the corner. That could have been a huge follow-up. Reset. Uh... Oh, my God. And just like that, it's over. So... Normally, Thunder Knock will knock down, but uh, you know the prior hits juggle. So if you space it in a weird way, you'll just knock them against the wall, and uh, they'll be able to be juggled. Oh, goes over the fireball. Oh, that's a punish, but doesn't get much. Oh, nice sweep. All right, challenges. No punish on the Thunder Knuckle. Oh, but gets caught, and he's gonna be put into the mix here, or I guess not. But just sweeps, and I think that's a perfect. Yeah. Yeah. So Bart's Very flash solid round will, will trade favorably with Gecko's Tatsu there, so it's kind of risky to try and run that on him. Ooh, didn't get the combo, but still, nice damage. Oh. And already at down to 50%. Oh, this... Thunder Knuckle, I think that's a punish. Oh, oh empty jump trade. Alright, this is a oh, this pretty is good position. Real rough for Gecko. Yeah. Cesar's oh, going to that, win. that's not quite it, but yeah, I think I think he's worried about Chip and tried to do something there. Yeah, and that's 3-0 for Zar. Wow, very, very strong Bards play. All right. Okay, and I guess we'll move to Loser's Semis then. Which will be Soul Force at Toast Rider. Which is presumably gonna be Liza at McCoy. Um, Could a lot be of matchups that you don't see. Yeah. It's nice when people play like multiple characters. Yeah. Hey, uh. But uh, Toast McCoy has kind of been on a tear here. So let's see if uh, Soul Force can stop it. Yeah, he's been doing good. Uh, Soul Force is a very strong player. All right. Boggy it is. Mm -hmm. Ooh. So Boggy has a lot of tricky options. I, I don't know how they will interact with McCoy, but you'll see. Uh, and just putting in this pressure here. Um, bit of a life oh. lead, but... Oh, the mash throw doesn't well, get much <laughs> off it. Overhead. Yeah, only two low. hits. Uh, mash throws in this game, they're not anywhere near as good as Super Turbo. Oh, good throw. Oh. Yeah, and first round goes to Soul Force. You know, you can still mash out of them quickly. They don't, like, reset you, so there's no mix-up afterwards. I mean, it's not beyond standard stuff. Oh, that's going to be a conversion. Ooh, uh, I'm surprised that's still there. comboed. The, uh, oh, goes low. Goes yeah. low again. And oh, that just goes for chip. 
no punish. That oh, that nice anti air. I saw you use the uh, heavy version of that rush, and that's kind of unsafe. Ooh. Okay, it's called jumping for some reason. Oh, and that's gonna be another combo. Just sweeps. Oh. Just kind of right. sliding around. It's hard to deal with. Oh, catches him jumping there. No, a miss space slide could potentially uh, get supered by Boggy, but not but, looking yeah. like it. Yeah, and just another sweep to finish off that round. Oh, oh, what? <laughs> That's weird. Oh, overhead. Doesn't slide fast enough, but just slides him again. Oh, and that's gonna be a punish. Oh, but no. Nope. Just gets thrown. Oh, I like to jump back there. Okay. Oh, escape. Oh, dive kicks out and sweeps him. Oh, sweeps the uh, kiss fireball. Doesn't catch him there again, but. Now, oh, this movement from Soul Force is really solid right now. Oh, the super? Nah. Uh, I don't think it's unsafe, though. Yeah, the problem is guard canceling. You can guard oh. cancel the hits. Ooh. The attack whiffs, and that's going to be it. But that was really close. Uh, Toast almost made that comeback. Round one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Boggy having his uh, his super, because the input, the uh, problem with doing guard cancels in this game, if you hold up, you will still get hit, even if you're uh, otherwise in block stun, you know, absolute guard, it's kind of weird. So Boggy guard canceling can be tough, but his super is just like half circle motion, so it's no problem. Ooh, using the match move a bit more. Yeah. Oh, but yeah, that's the round. Guess you... Hit by the air reset. Funky kicks. Yeah, so uh, McCoy's mash move is interesting. It's actually like instant uh, as long as you've got the mash inputs out. So if you buffer it behind something, it's just out there, frame one. It can, it's also a very good chip option and it can catch opponents off guard. Oh, good oh. block on the overhead. Although the overhead is like plus on block, it usually pushes back to like an unfavorable distance. Oh, just sweeping. Oh, nice anti-air. Right. Oh. oh, but this is still close. That might have been a uh, super attempt because of the close heavy punch. Oh, gets, sweeps him out of the uh, match. Ouch. Oh, but great anti-air and takes a round. Yeah. Oh. All right, that move is pretty safe on block. I, I don't know if McCoy can actually punish it. He punishes oh, that guy that's pretty good, actually. Yeah, the I guess it's more of a head dive, but yeah. That's just Same him jumping input. again. And that move is not punishable, but if your character doesn't have a good counter poke against it, it can, oh. you can often mash on it. Oh, and there's the punish. All right, that just works. Nice. Overhead. Oh, gets caught out of his slide by his funky kicks, I think is thing. Oh, and just sweeping again. Overhead blocks it. Ah, uh, crouching heavy punch. Oh, reliable. But, yeah, there it is. Yeah. Toast is great with these reaction anti airs. All right. Switch. Ooh. To Kazuya. This could be rough. Yeah, on paper, this matchup is pretty bad. I mean, McCoy's got a slide, but all in all, it's kind of a tough matchup to make it in. Oh, nice DP. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah, nice. just a fireball. Oh, that goes under? I didn't know that. Oh, plus frames. Can't match there, and that's going to be a conversion. Oh, miss it. Oh, but that super cannot be punished. Oh, Shout that might to... be it. Yep. I think it's yep. I think it it's just gone for block. chip there, but... Or it might be minus one, but, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, anti-air is the overhead. Oh, but nice sweep. Catches Ooh. him doing something. Oh, and goes through the fireball again. Overhead, not blocked. Oh, but gets hit. And goes low again. Uh, all right, interesting trade. Oh, trades. I don't know who that is favorable for. Wow, all right. Oh, and Never another mind. jet upper. 
That's been quite does have a pretty reliable answer to fireballs in that. Oh. Oh, just the random jet upper takes it. And just goes for chip. Just, I guess he's uh, trying to avoid DP there. And wow, solid. I guess the Kazuya switch turned out to not be so great. And solid 2-1 from Toast. Oh, good stuff. All right. All right. right, I guess we'll be moving on to losers finals then. This is it. Uh, Toast Rider yeah. versus Scuddy. One player is going to get the challenge, Zar. Yep. Uh, let me just put put up real quick. Uh, Match Reno you know, right here for anyone watching who hasn't used up their code yet. We're sitting on, uh, let me see right now, 635, 28 codes remaining. I don't expect us to use them all, but I'd like to, you know, maybe use another eight or so for anyone watching who hasn't used it. Go ahead and do that. Just uh, if you have a Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, uh, Discord even, you can just make a free account in a, in a minute. But uh, that out of the way, we got Scotty versus Toast Rider. Let me tell you them. Okay. Yeah, we have people pretty consistently grinding in the, the Discord. Uh, you know, Toast looks for games pretty much every day. Yeah, I'd like to see this long uh, become sometimes. more active. Yeah. Yeah, it's great seeing it. Oh, they already started. Uh, so yeah. it's Gecko on, of course, McCoy. And ooh, sweeps him out. What might have been a second attempt to slide. Get oh. upper whiffs, but no punish. Oh, tries right. to get the air to air, I guess. Oh, but catches him with the mash. Ninja tricks. Oh, but getting hit out some moves. Of course, uh, Gecko's uh, neutral jump, light kick, and medium kick hit on both sides, so that's kind of, kind of a weird move. Oh, oh, hits him out of the mega plus move. Oh, catches him with that move. Oh, but throws him because no meaty. Ooh, that's a very plus. I'm just kind of playing some neutral here. Oh. Ooh. Cannot get the uh, air to air out. See, oh, I but with the. I don't like those air tatsus on block. If you get blocked as Gecko, you're better off neutral or back jumping, I think. Oh, Meaty's him, and that's going to be a good amount of damage. Drops the combo again and gets wake up thrown. Oh, and walks into the shuriken. This is almost... Oh, that's going to be it, probably. Oh, but drops the combo. Oh. Oh, God. and just gets hit by the air shuriken. And for a bit of a Hail Mary option there. And sticking with McCoy, of course. And big jump in, but nothing. Nice anti air. Sliding along. Ooh, misses his anti air. Oh, and just gets hit out of his overhead. Didn't meet it. Oh, trade. Oh, doesn't block long enough to get the air Tatsu. Or Tatsu. Just jumping around. Ooh, big sweep. No cross up. Oh, nice oh that's absolutely gonna punish. Oh, and gets the sweep overhead, not blocked, and tries to mash something but gets sweeped instead. That's a round to toast. Yeah. First, I felt like, you know, McCoy doesn't play that much like Boxer, but he ends up playing kind of like him just do this slide. Oh, that's oh that could have been a big conversion. No cross up, or he blocked the cross up actually. Oh, does not time his meaty correctly and gets thrown. Ah, oh, that's I, gonna I, be. Oops. I just kind of cringe every time I see that. Like cancel into air tatsu on block, and it, it whips because he's a little too high up. Ooh, catches him with the punch move. 
I guess that's all his moves. <laughs> um, oh, I guess caught by an aerial falling. Oh. oh, goes for that move. I don't think that was a punish, but he might have been blocking wrong side or something. Mm, yeah. And that's a round for Scuddy. Just slides. Yeah, this seem seems like McCoy is having a bit of trouble with dealing with all of Gecko's air movement. Oh, I've got to stop. But it slides. slides You've got to stop doing that Gets when you're thrown. this close. When you're close to a character like McCoy, who likes to be close. Yeah. You know, Gecko can play so lame. Ooh, I think that might be a punish. And slides again. Does the overhead, but is blocked. Oh, all right. Not close enough to punish that. Ouch. Oh, but the slide ends it. That slide is just doing so much for Toast. And that's going right. to be a 1-1. One, one. Ooh, the Liza switch. I, I get it. Yeah. Oh. He's sliding and catches him doing something overhead slides that doesn't block the slide. Oh, whiffs that, but no punish and slides again and <laughs> was going to slide again, but gets caught by the reversal. Yeah. Just keeps. Oh, but that low crushes. She does have one good answer uh, to slide right there. Oh. Oh, punish. Oh. Doesn't get the follow up. He's not quite consistent at that. Oh, and just slides him out of the reversal again. Yeah. That's so I round. Think, I think his slider, slides in general, will just low profile that, so they're a good answer. Mm. Oh, no oh. punish on that. Oh, catches him pressing a button. And again, that's not plus, but you can make it seem like it is. But... Oh. And, oh, catches him with the... Uh, a flying bird thingy. Oh. Oh, uh, jumps the bird, but no punish. And wake up throw. That's a match throw. Gets out of it pretty quickly. Overhead. Meaty. Slides. Oh, slides again. Oh my kill, god, this is rough. Range. Just, just oh. do jet off her. Oh. Oh no. Ouch. Uh. That was so close. Oh. Yeah, McCoy is one of the stronger characters in Chip Out situation. He's not Ligua, who has a safe move, but he does a lot of it. Ooh, nice combo oh. there. Trade and that. trades with the overhead. Yep. I don't know what traded. Oh, that cat, that bird. I think that uh, reversal of lies is because it's invincible on startup, and then it's uh, upper body only. So mm, the second hit trade. does hit pretty low. Oh, oh, no. oh, wow. Guess the anti air, but it trades, unfortunately, for Toast. So that's a game for Scuddy 2 1. That's rough, but there's still some more games to go up. Round one. Really a game of who can keep their composure because there's a lot of options flying around in this game. I'm sure, there's some moves yeah. and blizzes that we're all kind of forgetting about that are. Might get pulled out at some point. Oh, tries to... I mean, help. So, Toast seems know. a bit more Ooh. afraid to just throw out the slide now, now that he knows that move lo that move exists. Yeah, for sure. Another thing, Liza actually has a wall jump, just a regular wall jump. Uh, Ooh, that's going to be a combo. <laughs> might, might prove to be a useful option if you're trying to hold on to a life lead against McCoy. Oh. oh, that's going to be... Oh, it doesn't punish it. Oh, but gets the sweep to take the round. Game yeah. point for Scuddy. Okay. Ooh. Uh, lands the slide. Just kind of hasn't been going for the overhead as much. I think he's worried about... Because the slide beats multiple options. Low crush. And yeah, this is looking a bit rough for Toast here. Feels like his game plan has been disrupted, so he's not entirely sure what yeah. to do now. I do respect uh, just walking Eliza down at this point, because when she's in the corner, you've kind of restricted her options. Like, she, if she wall jumps out, you can kind of catch it. 
Oh, oh, oh no. Was not the wall jump, but cannot get the. the but, ooh, gets the throw. Oh, oh slides. Oh, no. Overhead, but gets thrown out of it. That and stands. that is 3 1 Scuddy. Uh, good, but great job from Toast out here. Uh, possibly the best McCoy right now. Uh, just doing a very good job of showing his strengths. All right. Be fair, Scuddy won the last tournament, so this yeah. makes a lot of sense. Uh, so it's going to be Scuddy against Zar in Grand Finals. Zar has been also has yet to drop a game and just been having some very strong matches. Ooh, and he's in the bathroom. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, got it. Yeah, got anything to advertise? Uh, I mean, at the moment, my next event uh, coming up. Let me see. I actually got my uh, calendar that I posted on Twitter pinned to my profile at the moment. Uh, all right. So after Dan Kuga, I've got Sam show on Tuesday. If uh, that you know goes through, I, I stream that for someone else, JD Jank. So it's kind of up to his schedule how that works out. Uh, after that, I got. Uh, Ring of Destruction, I alternate, uh, you know, bi-weekly, I do Dankuga Thursday, and then the next week I do uh, Ring of Destruction on Friday. So there's that to look forward to. Uh, anything you want to talk about while I wait for uh, Zara to come back? Um, hmm. I know you well, play, let me uh, think. you like play a bunch of different poverty stuff, right? Like uh, um, ABK, I right? guess my main game is Akatsuki Blitzkampf. Although now that Fightcade has spectating, we're going to start up our turn. We're going to start up our tournament series again. Uh, Numa project. We don't have anything planned at the. Nothing solid is planned at the moment, other than that is going to return. But if you like relatively simple fighters, but also with lots of depth and just a wide variety of characters, uh, then AVK is a great game. Has a sick parry system. Has a big character variety and lots of things. Uh, N nines does not have net play, so there's not much I can do about that. Does it like not have net play, or does it just like it's on a it, LDC or there's something? There's Parsec, but oh, I yeah. Um, it uh, was built into what's it called? Uh, it's the thing that uh, Flycast Persona maybe? 4 Arena's on. Oh, I I do not uh, know about that. All right, it's Nezica. It's Nezica. So. The only All thing right. with netplay for that's on Nezuka is DFCI, uh, Dengeki Buko Fighting Climax Ignition. Right, and, and that got, that got uh, like a rollback. That's thing, only because right? they have their own caster. Oop, All and right. looks like Grand Finals have started. Yeah, I'm proud of them for that. that you know, people, fans are, you know, fixing things up yeah. where they need to. Yeah, good, great job for them. Like, that must have been so much work. Looks like we have Liza versus Gecko for game one. Okay, and big trade, but that is to Gecko's favor, it looks like. Wall Kling, but Wall Kling gets punished. Ooh, and oh. it's very solid movement starting here. Good sweep. Ooh, that's gonna be big damage. Oh. Air throws to end it, and that kill. Ouch. Wow. Yeah, interesting that was thing like about that move. unscaled or something. It does like reset the scaling because of how it. I don't know if you want to call this a bug or an oversight, but it kind of just the throw is like two hits, so it resets the scaling. Misses meaty fireball, but still gets some chip. Wow, this movement right now. Oh, the instant He's air just moving. It's again that that is tricky to do because if you do two on four seven, you'll get the backwards version. Ooh, some kind of trade, and it's pretty much even now, just like that. Oh, and oh, guess the restand, but no combo. Oh, but catches him doing a fireball, and wow, just like that, it is even in rounds. Wild. Okay, and still lots of nice movement. Oh, Ooh, that's going to be a big combo again, but drops it. All right. Unfortunate. But just gets out of the corner just like that. 
Oh, that could have been a good. That uh, looked like it was a trade, but I'm not sure. Yeah, that trade could have been good for Liza. Oh, gets the throw after going over. Oh, what was that move? I've never seen that. That's Gecko's dive kick. It's got a kind of a lot of delay to it. Ooh. I have never seen anyone use it before. Yeah, it's kind of awkward. Mm. All right. All right, but game one goes to Scuddy. Uh, very solid play, uh, managing to stay calm there and get the win. And Zar will stick with Gecko. And nice anti-air to start into the air reset. Meaty Fireball misses his follow-up on, but ooh, fireballs him out of the dying attack. And anti-air is the reset. Oh, that's... Gecko is a... This is a rough round already. Gecko slow fireball, kind of doing a lot of work versus Liza. Oh. Ooh, and just the... catches him out of the air. Yeah. Oh, tries that's to, uh, class. He can't. Tries to go for the wall jump there. and gets, gets sniped by the uh, shuriken there. Yeah, Gecko has surprisingly, like, long-range buttons for being, like, a ninja-style character. Oh. Ooh, nice catch there. Ooh, and just flying all around the screen again. Alright. Mmm, this is very much around in Scotty's favor. Trades again, but at this point, the trades are oh. all gonna be in Scotty's favor. And the monkey catches him after the big... Button. Okay, yeah. even in rounds again. I must have properly anti-aired him because that move does not like have any recovery. Mm. Right. Big sweep. Oh, and catches him with the big move. Oh, and oh, mm. oh, no. oh, and that could have been big, but it just gets out. Nice. Oh, and nice punish for the kill, and that's gonna be ga one game for Bizarre. 1-1. One, one. Wow, yeah. Zar really showing why this character is so strong. Yeah. He, he can and also... Wall clean, early wall clear to air. If he's uh, on Ooh, point, he can actually, you and know, do that uh, uh, air tatsu, do that air tatsu loop uh, to stun. All right. Ooh. This is still pretty even in life. Oh, and oh, that could have been death if that wow. landed. Oh, Eliza's... but the that just catches him doing something. Yeah. Liza so short there that I guess that uh, jumping heavy punch air tatsu didn't just whiffed on her. All right, good air to air. Oh, and nice air to air on the wall cling. And oh, just matches a button now, and it works this time. No oh. conversion. Oh, that Ooh. should that should have been stunned. I I know Eliza can stun if she hits someone twice like that. Oh, that's death. Oh, and there it is. That's just gonna be game. Probably just gonna throw. Yeah. Wow. Very solid couple of rounds from Scuddy. Two one. Close to a reset here. Yeah, this character does that to you eventually. Gecko, one of the characters, she can hit twice with that kick. Ooh, the Liwa switch. Hit. His uh, Zara is a very strong Liwa, and Liwa can be very rough to fight. But Ood doesn't get caught by the match move. Oh, oh dive, dive kick, kick and gets in. Oh, that's gonna be a lot of damage, or not? <laughs> yeah. Can be tricky to actually uh, time the. Uh, you want to get the first hit of two and four P to continue yeah. the juggle. Yeah, and it it ha gives big it gives big damage and great corner carry. Oh, gets blocked. Ooh, that's not gonna oh misses their punish and that's a sweep and gets sweeped out of the reversal. What Ooh, happened the, there? I have no. no oh my god. Yeah, Lee was sweep her crouching heavy kick, just low profiles. Oh my god. Oh my god, command grabs after whiffing the sweep. I think that, that's on purpose. I think I think that shouldn't have happened, but it did. So That know. was really cool though. Yeah, no, that's uh that's some tricks in this matchup. Good DP. Oh, DPs, and that's a lot of damage. And just sweeping on wake up now since Oh, big another big DP. Oh, oh. and that's gonna be the reset. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's a great. That's a very strong combo that Liwa has, and it can just end you right there. Yeah, and that reset obviously uh, unscales 
And you can't really yeah. escape it as any of the characters, because no one's got an invincible option in the air. Oh, we're gonna see a switch to Gecko. Okay, 2-2. Two, two. Well, so, we're either gonna see a reset, or that's just gonna be it. Oh. Ooh, nice Tatsu, and gonna go for... Oh, uh, yeah, uh, does not get crossed up and just DPs him. And that's a lot of chip. Ooh, oh. that looked like a punish. Oh, that's gonna be a combo. Uh, it's such aggressive play Ooh, just right low now. Just low profiles the jump in. Oh, but another big DP. These DPs are coming in clutch. Oh, that was almost chip. All right, oh. this is dangerous. Yeah. This is very. De oh, that's it. You can't whip that. Oh, these games are so okay, good. So, this is instant match catch. point. Oh, big anti-air tornado. And just catches him with meaty tornado doing something. Tornado on and block that's... is like is light light tornado is plus on block, which is insane, yeah. but Alright. Yeah, this is gonna have to be a big comeback here. Oh <laughs> Zar, you know too much about this game. Yeah. <laughs> oh damn. Oh, and you can't press a button there. That's it. Just like that. Liwa showing off Liwa's strengths, Zar takes it. And it well, looks like Zar will be the winner of Dan Kuga Battlegrounds number 19. Congrats. GG's everyone. Yeah, great games. This was like a really fun tournament. If anyone wants someone to like grind with, I mean, Zar's going to be here for a bit, I'm sure. Feel free to hit him up for games. I might be here for a bit if you want to fight Azteca. Yeah. And uh, Alex, feel free to like hop into... Actually, you're gonna have to, I'm going to have to like move you, but you can join a uh, general and I can move you into commentary. Uh, actually, I'm going to leave this commentary, so in a sec here. All right. mm, but yeah, great games, everyone. Uh, there is also pretty big. 12 players is like definitely it's like that's like twice the size of the last tournament. Yeah. I hope these kind of things continue. Uh, tell people about this game. I think most people just have not heard of it. Uh, I mean, that uh, Taito Mini, that Egret 2, is going to come out soon. I don't, I don't know when, but uh, I'm sure people will be talking about it more and more in the future. Yeah, I, like, uh, like Jay uh, Justin Wong played it, and like he, he only made one video on it, but still, that's like, more exposure than this game got in the past 20 years or however many. Yep. All right. All right. So I'm going to head out now. Once again, great games, everyone. Okay. Hello. Hello. Can you guys hear me? Yep. You're good. All right. Sorry. I know this is quick. I'm lit It's literally 4 p.m. here in this mall, but I just want to say thank you guys so much for coming in to Polar Bears as uh, Dan Kugal Battlegrounds, which is number 19, actually, right? Uh, yeah, so number 20 is coming up. I think we're going to hit uh, 22 by uh, before Vortex Gallery, so that's going to be fun. Oh, really? Nice. Well, I just came here after eating some dope-ass ramen oh. just to say thank you so much to Polbert for doing these week these bi weeklies for this really awesome game, especially for Danku guys as well. Uh, this is such a really underrated gem that more people should definitely play. Uh, especially, as you said, with uh, Vortex Gallery coming up. Uh, yeah. Un unfortunately, I cannot make it because of my vacation. But as soon as I return from Hawaii, then I'll be sure to commentate as well as just to practice my Kazuya and hopefully beat Soul Force more often, Lamal. Yeah. Uh, but with that said, please keep playing Dankuga. This game is really fucking dope. And one more thing before I go, uh, play Waku Waku Sam as, as well. Okay, love you. Bye. Hell yeah. It's another game that's going to be at Vortex Gallery. I don't think the full list of games has been revealed, but that should be coming sometime soon. I don't want to, I don't want to leak anything. You know, I'm honored to be there. I'm going to see if I can raid someone at the moment. But uh, yeah. For anyone not, I mean, you can follow me on Twitter here, Polar Bear underscore On, and uh, all right. Uh, 
Sunjol over to 29th Guardian. He's doing uh, Street Fighter 2 Turbo. I think that's just a community night thing, but he's he's TO'd offline for like mystery games and a bunch of stuff in the Midwest. He's cool. And yeah, absolutely play Danku guy. Here's a Discord if anyone wants to join and who hasn't already last minute. But, uh, you know, be well. See you in two weeks. Take it easy.